welcome to Bert's Imperfect Bakes, the channel where it's okay to not bake perfectly every time. I'm Bert, and this week, seeing as brownies were a raving success last week, we're going to be making blondies. Preheat your oven to 200 or 180 fan degrees Celsius, and the first two ingredients you need are 225 grams of butter and 100 grams of white chocolate, which you need to melt together over a pan of simmering water, like so. Now for the rest of the ingredients, 3 eggs, 200 grams of soft light brown sugar, 100 grams of caster sugar, 175 grams of plain flour, half a teaspoon of baking powder, 2 teaspoons of vanilla and another 100 grams of white chocolate chopped into chunks for later. I've also got my buttery melted chocolate mix cooling on the side, as you can see. Crack the eggs into your mixing bowl. By the way, I'm not just chucking the shells on the floor. I am putting them in the food bin next to me. Add both types of sugar. I've already combined mine together. Saves on the washing up later. Whisk all that together until foamy. It's well whisked when your whisk leaves a ribbon of batter that sits on the surface like I'm faffing with there. Add the vanilla to the melted chocolate mixture. Try not to splash butter everywhere. You can see here that the mixture looks like it has separated. It definitely has, well that's okay. Give it a good mix and it'll pull itself together again. A nice close up of the batter for no reason whatsoever. Add the buttery chocolate mix to the batter and combine with the whisk. Add the flour and baking powder, I've already combined mine together. Hold that thought, sieve. Let's sieve this powder into the bowl. Smush the last few bits through with a spoon. Get your spatula and fold everything together nicely. Now with the other 100 grams of chocolate, roughly chop it into chunks and don't chop your fingers off in the process. Add the chopped chocolate to the batter. Mix that in. Get your tin, grease it and line it with some baking paper. Pour your batter in. That's a good mixture to lick, by the way. Pop it in the oven for 25 minutes. 
After 25 minutes, mine was extremely wobbly, but I left it to cool for a good hour, quite possibly two. And this is what it looked like. Not very appetising, is it? Tend to run a knife around the edge of the tray to loosen the blondie. Tip the tray upside down to extract the heavy slab. Nope, it doesn't want to come out. This one required a bit of work. Finally, it came out. Remove the paper. And ta-da! It's still raw. Yum. Perhaps this one should have been in the oven for a bit longer. Never mind, that's the whole point of this channel. Imperfections. This one duly went into the food bin. Well, safe to say this one did not work at all. It's still not cooked. Uh, and it's inedible. It's just dough. Complete and utter disgustingness. Um, so yeah, uh, I wouldn't recommend this recipe. <laughs> Maybe put it in the oven longer if you do try it. But then if you do that, it'll be burnt on the top because as you can see, mine is already brown. Oh well, never mind. It's always next time. Thanks for watching.